This story starts in early 20th century London, where young Alan Turing was already displaying signs of extraordinary intelligence. At 15, he grasped complex calculus on his own and began solving advanced problems that baffled his teachers. What made Turing unique wasn't just his intelligence, it was how he thought. While others saw mathematics as abstract, Turing saw practical machines that could solve problems. In a world that didn't yet have computers, he was already thinking like a programmer. In 1936, at just 23 years old, Turing published a paper that would change the world, though few recognized it at the time. He described a theoretical machine, now called a Turing machine, that could compute any algorithm through simple instructions. What's remarkable is that Turing wasn't building a physical computer. He was imagining what computers could theoretically do decades before they existed. He had essentially invented the conceptual framework for every computer, smartphone, and digital device that you use today. When World War II erupted, Turing was recruited to Bletchley Park, the secret facility where Britain's codebreakers worked to decrypt Nazi communications. His target, the infamous Enigma machine, a German encryption device considered unbreakable. If the Enigma codes couldn't be broken, the war might be lost. Turing designed an electromechanical machine called the Bomb that could rapidly test different combinations of Enigma settings. By 1941, Turing and his team were regularly decrypting German messages, saving countless Allied ships and lives. Winston Churchill would later say that the Bletchley Park codebreakers made the single biggest contribution to Allied victory. After the war, few people knew of Turing's crucial contributions due to secrecy laws. In 1952, Turing's world collapsed. After reporting a burglary at his home, police investigation revealed he was in a relationship with a man, a crime in Britain at the time. He was arrested and charged with gross indecency. On June 7, 1954, Turing was found dead at age 41. Beside his bed was an apple laced with cyanide. Though ruled a suicide, his mother always insisted it was an accident from his home chemistry experiments. Either way, Britain had lost one of its greatest minds, not to war or disease, but to prejudice and intolerance. The modern digital age, from artificial intelligence to the smartphone in your pocket, all trace back to concepts he developed. In 2013, Queen Elizabeth II granted him a posthumous pardon. His face now appears on the British £50 note. But maybe his greatest legacy is in the machines all around us each one operating on principles he imagined before anyone else could see their possibility. Thanks for watching. Follow me at Hoodie History for more fascinating stories from the past.